Welcome to episode seven, getting started with KeyCAD version nine, the final stretch. I encourage you to watch through the video first, and go back and rewatch any parts you wanna learn better. To add an image to a layer, it's best to use a black and white image. To get this free image, visit the link in the description, right click and hit save image as. Open the image converter, hit load source image. I'm gonna change the size to 9.4 by eight millimeters. Check the footprint button under output format and be sure the layer is front silk screen. Hit export to clipboard. In the PCB editor, hit Control V to paste, then click to drop it. Click to select the G asterisk reference designator and hit delete. If you put it on the front mask layer, it would remove the mask layer in that spot. Because we left the copper in most places using a filled zone, it would look like this. To edit the title block information or change the size of the sheet, hit File and Page Settings, or hit this button at the top. Here you can match the revision you used in Schematic Editor to your PCB editor. Only lines one through four display, the rest are variables. Speaking of revision, while the layer is on front silk, hit the T button for text and enter your revision. Feel free to adjust the font, the size, whatever, to your liking. If you want to flip it to the back or the bottom side, copy and paste and hit F when it's selected. If you want to learn more ways to add art to your PCB, there'll be links below to a few videos from the Bite Size Engineering channel. Speaking of art, most PCB services will not let you put silkscreen on exposed copper or bare PCB material, only on top of a mask layer. Just because KeyCAD's 3D viewer may show the silk overexposed copper, you likely will not receive your boards that way. To mark the outer dimensions, let's clear the screen. Under Presets, hit No Layers, then turn on Edge Cuts. Select the user drawings layer or any user layer. Change tools to draw orthogonal dimensions. Bring your cursor near the corner on the edge cuts on top. See how the cursor forms a little circle and snaps to the edge cuts line? Click and drag to the opposite side. Do that again from side to side as well. Now drag the text off to the sides like this. Now that our PCB layout is done, run the DRC, the Design Rules Checker, to be sure we are not violating any major rules. Zero unconnected items, good. No major errors, no problem. Feel free to click on those to see the crosshairs move to show you what it's warning you about. Take one more look at your 3D view. Turn off the through hole models. Does it look good? Now we can export our Gerber files. Hit File and Plot. At the top, set your output directory by clicking on the folder icon. I recommend making a new folder in your project called Gerber's, then hit Select Folder. This will keep your folder clean. We only need these layers, the front and bottom copper, the front and bottom silk screen, the front and bottom mask, and the edge cuts. You can also uncheck the Generate Gerber Job File button. Hit Plot. Now hit Generate Drill Files. Leave everything default. Hit Generate. Now go to that folder where your new Gerber files are. There should be nine of them there. Select all of them and send them to a zip file. To check them over, open the Gerber Viewer in the Program Manager and drag that zip file into it and turn on the layers. 
be sure it all looks like you want it. If you see an issue, just go back and change it, but make sure to make a new set of Gerbers. Ready to order? Go back to digikey.com and under resources, click on DK Red. Drag that zip file in and it should automatically assign the layers like so. Hit finish upload. And add to cart. To get your bill of materials, open the schematic editor. Open the symbol fields table. Turn off the footprints from the table so it looks like this. Hit export at the bottom. It will make a CSV file. Remember that when you order from DK Red, the minimum is four PCBs. You can decide how many of each power source you'll be needing and mark them in the quantity column. Hit the cart button at digikey.com. Drag your bill of materials into this box. Hit add to current cart. I received this message. Hitting the view options, it tells me I can get 10 cheaper than four. Yes, please. If you wish, you can order the parts and your PCBs at the same time. If you toss the buzzer on the backside and get rid of the mounting holes, you can get this water alarm even smaller. But I encourage you to start simple before you dial up the crazy. We've only covered the beginning of how to use KiCad. I really encourage you to spend some time at docs.keycad.org to learn far more. I hope you enjoyed our journey together. Have fun designing more circuit boards. <laughs>